Hello everybody, I'm Hugo Girl and welcome to my tits. Um, uh, I'm going to show you how I open chest blinds. That's going to be exciting for everybody. Uh, I'm getting ready for the Dunedin Pun Battle tonight. Uh, and I have a new roll of tape, so I figured perfect timing. Uh, this is what I use. Thank you, Scotch. Uh, it is PVC joining tape. It is used for uh, fixing boats and roofs. Uh, which means it's definitely strong enough to hold my nipples under my armpits. So I'm a little bit red already because I tape twice, always. I do an exfoliant layer uh, and because I found uh, when I would get super sweaty at a show, uh, you know, like, oh, fuck, I have to retape at half time. I always found the second layer stuck better. And then I talked to a friend of mine who does, like, body effects and body painting and she's like oh yeah it's totally a thing you always do like a like a stick down layer first and then stick the real thing down I was like huh so I find that straight up doing a whole other layer first you can even see it it removes uh, a layer of skin it removes all your sweat and oils and leaves you nice and dry and also lays down a little bit of adhesive to make it stick even better. So there's the hot take. Do taping twice. So I'm nice and dry and exfoliated. And it's time to tape. So usually I don't do uh, squares over my nips. Because when you go, your nipple is your point of most resistance. So I prefer just to have my first layer straight on my nips. But YouTube is puritanical. So here we are. Uh, I also, I've seen Organized Kings pre-cut strips. And like stick them to the edge of a table. So they're all organized. I'm not that organized, and also I just do it with my teeth because I'm trash. Okay. So, you'll need about layers this long. And what you want to do is go up. is actually more important than out, but you want to go up and out. Go there. Now, um, depending on what size chest you have, um, you will be differently blessed. Mine, probably because I've spent three years also training them to do this, I can get my nips over really far and if you don't have enough tissue in there to wrangle often you'll find boys with smaller chests their, their tape stays about here but um just about the one advantage of having a bigger chest and taping is that you can yank them over further and get a more space that appears to be flat all right so we're making pecs we're going and across and down so even though i re went up i taped downwards a little bit towards the back and that is so you can see where my shoulder blade moves you don't want to go any further up than that um because if you do you get like little friction scratches um and then we just layer up so it goes without saying that this is pretty fucking dangerous um do this at your own peril this is not a thing you're supposed to do with human bodies um which is why this is so effective is because it's it's not like qt kt tape or it's not like medical tape which i have somewhere this stuff you know like it just it just doesn't hold as well use the industrial shit all right so this blip down the bottom is always the bit that'll give you away so this i want to go straight up yep a nice little crossover and if you're doing this on a friend or with a friend, this is the point where you want the other person to like hold it there so it doesn't slip. But we don't have that luxury today. Ah. So I just tear it with my teeth a little bit and then do fingers for the other one. Keep layering this bad boy down. Uh, yeah, so I have double D's in real life and can get this down to looking pretty flat because yeah don't worry about your bulk up here it's so easy to hide it under your armpit but as soon as you get bulk down here they look like tits and not pecs yeah so the side effects of doing this are you find after if, if you do a bunch of days in a row you will um it goes easier like the tissue just kind of gives up um and then also you can like pull little muscles especially if you're moving and dancing on stage, um, you can get scratches under your arms if you're not, if you take it off too soon after putting it on and it's like adhered fully and you haven't like partially sweated it off, you can like 
take too much skin with you and that hurts a little bit but that's pretty much it um if you're a human being with dysphoria like me you don't give a shit get them off my body yeah all right so that's feeling pretty sturdy still not super happy with that but oh well Also, if you were a smaller titted gentleman, you won't get this line, which is where the fold where they naturally sit. Moving on to the other side. You can see the difference. Bam. Oh, not currently. Up. Across. Oh, that one's a bit better. <laughs> Got some on the tongue. Yes. See how much better that is? Eh, I wrinkled it. Yeah, so if you are wearing a leotard or like a tight white shirt with no waistcoat, you want to be careful about wrinkles um, because that's the bit that will show through in addition to your own body contour. You'll be able to see the texture of tape. Um, I'm not, so I don't give a shit. I remember once I wear this like ridiculous little clown leotard. And I wore it for King Me Rides of a Drag King. And one of the judges' critiques was, you've got to be careful because we can actually see your tape. And it was like pure flat with a tiny bit of texture on the side. And I was like, I have double D tits. You have no idea how great that tape was. Glass houses and stones. Good, not good. Yeah, it's amazing how that um, first tape impacts everything. That first. Yeah, should be right. So, um, after you've done this, so you're going whoop and then shook without. You're still allowing your shoulder blade to move. Your second stage is the blip. So the blip is this bit up here. So I just smooth it down basically. Bam. Just one nice little bit for that. All right, and now you want to nice and tight connect the. I, they're already a bit connected, but um, you want to make sure, because I've had a couple of nights where I've taped and then just noticed everything kind of falling, and I've been like, what is happening? And I hadn't connected them at the back, so physics, whoop, the whole thing holding this together is the connection at the back. So now I'm going to cut off, make this line nice and straight. Now sometimes depending on how confident you're feeling about this edge, you might want to put down like another strip, which will bring your tape further in, but if you want it for security, I highly recommend doing it. Trust your gut, listen to your body. Oh yeah, other side effects include not being able to breathe properly. So, listen to your body. If And always do it before a gig. It's so much easier to redo it now and give yourself a little bit more breathing room, a little less texture, um, a little less tension uh, than it is to realise you've got 10 minutes to go and you're worried about going on stage because everything is super uncomfortable and you're feeling claustrophobic. Look after yourself. Listen to your body. All right. 
Um, now I'm going to colour correct, and if I am wearing, um, I, bleh, sometimes you need to like colour correct the whole fucking thing, like, um, if I'm wearing a white shirt with, um, no binder or anything underneath, then I'll colour correct the whole thing, and this is when I use my medical tape. Today I'm just wearing like a jacket, so in case when I lift up my arms and stuff and it flashes, I'm just going to make sure maintain the illusion I put it down look at that yeah. that might be a little bit short yes it is fuck yeah, secondary a little bit Bam. And we're done. Look at that. Almost totally flat. Uh, so, this is the point where uh, if I was a dedicated drag king, I would like put makeup all the way down here and contour abs. Um, I'm not that dedicated. And also, I'm just like a big dork, you know, like abs don't really fit with my gender identity or drag personality. So here's what I do. I make sure everything is like not super sweaty and it's reasonably dry. And then we do this. Good old Bondi Sands. Also Sand Sally Hansen works perfectly. So what I'm doing is, this is just paint basically. So painting everything one color is gonna remove this. Previously I have tried to like conceal and then blend out, but then you always just wind up with like a book of concealer. I find putting one thing as a blanket all over um, conceals those lumps and bumps and highlights and contours that naturally happen in a human body and make me look even flatter optically than I am. And the trick with this bad boy is not to touch it, I found. Like, these often come with, like, blending mitts, but fuck that. I just let it all set in its little droplets and from a metre away, it looks like... This isn't a very good example because you can still see the redness from where my tits have been sitting all day. Anyway, I just let that dry. And that's kind of it. This is how we tit tape. You are welcome. Uh, stay safe out there, boys. Don't wear it for too long. Bring a backup binder to chuck on if halfway through the night you feel like you are damaging yourself and need to take it off. Um, look after yourself. I hope this was educational. Thank you. Okay, bye.